everyone, and welcome to another Friday new product post. We've got some new products to talk about this week, so let's see what we've got. First up, we've got the pulse sensor. The pulse sensor is exactly what it sounds like. It is a sensor for sensing your pulse. And you can see it's just this little guy. Um, it's got an LED on the back side and goes through the little hole. That goes against your finger. And then the whole thing is just terminated with these little jumper wire leads right there. It's got these little Velcro discs that actually sit on the back of it. So you can see like that. And then they attach to this little Velcro band. So you can just stick it on there like that, put it on your finger, wrap it around, and you have a little pulse sensor. Um, it also comes with an extra pad as well as this little um, ear clip thing. So you can use this to clip on your ear instead of your finger if you want. The nice thing about this is they've done all the homework and they've done all the tweaking for you. You can basically just plug this into an Arduino and start reading pulses. Um, they do have an Arduino sketch for it and they have this really nifty processing library that can actually show the pulses on your screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this into my office and we're gonna do a nice little screen capture show you what the processing app looks like and show you this thing in action. So here, as you can see, we've got these nice little peaks and I'm holding about eh, 90 BPM right now, which is a little high, but you know, I did just get done running a marathon five minutes ago. And here at the bottom, you can see that we can adjust the scale. So you can just make it go smaller or bigger depending on you know, what it is you're wanting to see. And of course you can do this directly in an Arduino. You don't need to run the processing sketch as well. Really simple way to measure pulse. Next up, we've got this four channel motor driver. This four channel motor driver is made to work directly with the Rover 5 robot platform. If you're not familiar with the Rover 5, it's that white robot platform that we have that has the two tank treads and you've seen it in a couple different product posts on here. Since the Rover 5 does have four individual motors um, that you can put tank treads on or individual wheels and optical encoders on each wheel, uh, this driver is quite nice. Uh, we can see that it has these four connectors right there. Those are what connect directly to the motors and the mating connectors on the Rover 5 mate directly to those. But in addition, down here, we have these four connectors which connect directly to the optical encoders. So you can actually run the optical encoders directly through here. Um, we also have the power connectors down here and then the one, two, three, and four on the channels that you would connect back to your microcontroller and send it the PWM signals to control the motors. The interesting thing about this controller is it actually kind of sums up the quadrature output so you can actually get by with just using one interrupt for the quadrature optical encoders. With the Arduino, you only have the option of two interrupts for the Uno. This, you can actually get it down to only using um, two for multiple instead of two per wheel. In addition, this board also comes with all this hardware that you might need to hook it up. So it comes with all these lovely little screws and standoffs, so that makes it easy to connect into the four corners and connect this to whatever it is you're hooking it up to. Here we've got the Rover 5 platform. We've got it hooked up to an Arduino, the driver, and then we've got a claw hot glued onto the front of it. We've even got one of these little RC transmitters um, that we have with this guy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive this around and try to pick up um, this box down here. So let's drive it around. The claw opening is just barely big enough. There we go. Close the claws. So there you have it, the Friday new product post. We've got the four channel motor driver for the Rover 5, and we also have the pulse sensor. If you're looking for a pulse sensor, this thing is really easy to use and really cool. Let's check that out. As always, we have more new products on the website, so go ahead and check out the rest of the new product post for the other products, and we'll see you again next week with another Friday new product post.